Getting the range of the Thundering Onyx Cloud Serpent from Hulan is quite the hassle. Here's how to do it the easiest way. Do not camp Hulan on a server with a lot of cross-realm zone traffic. Instead, you want to kill Hulan and do all your farming on servers that do not have much cross-realm zone competition, which means role-playing realms, role-playing PvP realms, and servers dedicated to other languages that have smaller player bases. On normal servers, you will find that Hulan is constantly being camped. But on these servers, you will occasionally find Hulan actually wandering around doing its patrol. It simply takes far less time to log in, see if Hulan's there, and if he is, kill him, than just purely camping him for 50 hours straight. Using this method, it took me 125-ish Hulan kills to get them out at about 12 hours. Compared to just camping him, that probably would have taken me 80 or more hours. To make use of these alternative servers that you can actually find Hulan up and wandering about on, all you need to do is either make a trial character which starts as level 100 which can kill Hulan, or level a death knight to 70 and then make a demon hunter on that realm. You could also transfer a high level character or use a character boost on that realm, but that's a bit of a waste. Especially since if you use this strategy, you're likely to employ it on multiple servers. I used three permanent Demon Hunter characters, as well as about seven different trial characters across ten servers to actually farm Hulan this way. So with that out of the way, let's go into the details of actually farming Hulan. Hulan is a rare spawn on the Timeless Isle with a 30 to 60 minute respawn time. He has a 1% chance to drop the reins of the Thundering Onyx Cloud Serpent, and he can be killed multiple times a day and still drop the mount. One major problem you might have while farming Hulan is while he is patrolling, sometimes where he appears on your screen is not where the game actually says he is, making it hard to actually attack him. One of the problems that causes this is simply your add-ons taking up too much memory. I suggest that you mouse over the red question mark sign in your user interface. And if it says that your add-ons are taking more than 100 memory, then you might want to disable some add-ons while farming Hulan. For me, the add-on trade skill master used a lot of excess memory, so disabling that fixed the problem for me. Something similar might work for you. Logging out and in again might also help the problem. As far as killing Hulan with a level 100 character, or a trial character specifically, he has two main abilities. The first is his Dragon Breath, which you can actually avoid entirely by stepping to the left or right of him, which will cause the ability to miss. His other ability is Storm Blossom, which puts a damaging area on the ground. You can easily avoid this just by not standing in it. As far as pulling Hulan and getting him to come down so you can kill him, I recommend either having your trial characters be balanced druids so they can have a 45 yard range moonfire, or you use an item called a Mecha Blast Rocket, which is a cheap Warlords of Draenor engineering item that typically sells for less than one gold each. Mecha Blast Rockets have a 40 yard range and do a small amount of damage, and can be used by any character level 91 and above. And that should cover everything you need to know while farming Hulan. But while we're here, there are a few other things on the Timeless Isle that you can collect at the same time. The Champions of the Black Flame, which spawn right near Hulan, have a 1% chance to drop a toy, the Black Flame Daggers. Since three of them spawn at a time, you'll likely get this toy long before you get the Hulan mount. Jakur of Ordon spawns just before the Hulan area and he has a 1% chance to drop a warning sign toy. Golgonar, who spawns right below the Hulan area, has a high chance to drop an odd polished stone toy. Hulan and the Crimson Scale Firestorm mobs around the area also drop quivering Firestorm eggs, with 24% and 8% drop rates respectively. These eggs, when turned in to the Order of the Cloud Serpent reputation, give 1,000 reputation, and if you buy the commendation at Revered, they will actually give you 2,000 reputation each. They are also bind on account, so once you are done farming Hulan, you can send them all to one character and probably easily get that character exalted with the Order of the Cloud Serpent, giving you access to three more mounts. 
And if the character is a jewel crafter, you'll actually get access to the five jewel crafting panther mounts, or at least the recipes to make them. So by farming Hulan, you could actually get up to nine mounts. And that's all I have to cover in this video. Thank you for watching, and I hoped it helped you.